Hello Fina, today we are going to organize some areas around my house. I don't know if I get to organize all of the ones I have in my head, but um, we are going to start organizing. So I have um, a few ideas. I have two girls. So if you're new here, my name is Nasbi and I have two girls and we all love crafting and so we have a lot of crafting materials and usually until now I do store all of my crafting supplies in the kitchen in two dra large drawers but actually in three drawers so we have three crafting drawers in my kitchen but um, I just don't like the way it is organized I don't think it's very functional I tried few dis different systems in the path and yeah I decided I'm going to give it another try and I'm doing something completely different so all of these crafting supplies so most of them are going to leave my kitchen and I um, um, I'm going to take the Alex drawer from IKEA and um, I'm going to organize all the crafting supplies in there so for that I need to organize also my entryway because I would like to store that Alex unit in the entryway and also there are areas I don't like the way they are organized um, so I have all my cleaning supplies in the entryway and other stuff but I would like to get the cleaning supplies out of there because um, I can't really reach them, they're hard to get to, I, ca I can't find what I want most of the time and also things fall behind and so I decided I want to get these things out of there and I'm going to transfer them into one of the drawers in my kitchen. So we have big plans and the Alex drawer, I already own the Alex um, drawers but uh, it's in my bathroom upstairs. So I have to empty it out in my bathroom and take it out and I'm going to put something else in there. And I'm trying to do all of these projects without buying something new. So I'm going to shop my house. I have a lot of ideas in my head. So um, hopefully it's going to work. Maybe we need to go and buy some bins or baskets, but I think I do have uh, enough. We will see. We will start first. Before I go shopping, I would like to try to do everything without buying something new. So we are going to start by emptying the Alex drawer in my bathroom. I'm taking everything out and I'm storing them probably just in baskets for now. And because I would like to start with the crafting um, drawers first, I want to get this job done today before I move on to other um, areas around the house. And if you are new here, please subscribe to my channel. And yeah, let's get started. So these are all the hair um, supplies for my girls. I'm going to place them on top of here for now. And this is toys. So this is the third drawer. Actually, I keep uh, towels on here, but there are no clean ones right now. This I'm going to put upstairs. This belongs upstairs. And then I have extra toothpaste and tooth toothbrushes. I can probably um, store them in the future also somewhere else. But for now, I'm just going to put them in here. And this is an empty basket. So, I don't really need that. So my plan is I can probably store some of the things uh, in my bedroom because like um, the hair straightener, the hair dryer, actually when I use these I often use them somewhere else in the house and not in my uh, bathroom. And so I can probably just store them somewhere else because the, th the cabinet or the little uh, furniture unit I want to put in here when I move this one out is a lot smaller. So I don't have as much space as I have now as I used to have in the Alex drawer. But um, I realized we don't have that many things anyways in the bathroom. So I think it's going to be fine. And we are going to try it out and if it's too small, maybe I go and try to find something else to um, 
put in here as well. Okay, the cabinet is out of the bathroom and my husband is at work, so I'm not quite sure how I can get it down the stairs, but let's figure it out. So the thing is pretty heavy. Um, I don't know if I can carry it downstairs. Um, and the problem is you can't just take out these drawers. You need to unscrew them. But I think that's what I have to do because otherwise I can't carry it down the stairs. And I'm too scared to maybe slide it down the stairs. Um, yeah. I think that's not a good idea. So I'm going to get my um, screwdriver and let's um, take out these drawers. Maybe it's fine if I just take out like two or three and then it's um, not as heavy and it's easier to carry down the stairs. But yeah, that's what we have to do. I made it. Um, the thing is, this thing is pretty heavy and also it's not easy to carry because it's so large, so wide. So, But it's downstairs now in one piece and now I need to put the drawers back and I'm not quite sure where I want to place it downstairs. Um, yeah, let's figure that out as well. So in there are all my um, cleaning supplies and also some extra toilet paper and I would like to um, I do need to refinish a little cabinet which should go into our guest bathroom downstairs and then I want to put the toilet paper on all of these things in the guest bathroom so my first the first idea I have is to put this Alex drawer in here but let me show you but if I'm doing that here's a little step or a little thingy so I need to lift up this Alex unit because otherwise we can't open the last drawer and yeah I can't push it far enough in the back so um, we can open the last drawer so I need to put yeah I need to lift it up so this is my first idea my second idea is to put it just there where the boxes are put the Alex unit here underneath the jackets but I think it's going to stick out a little bit. I don't know if I like that and I don't know if I even want it out here. So yeah, I think I need to, I need to see it. So first I'm going to put it in here and see if I like it. And if I don't like it, I'm trying to put it into, into the other cabinet. Winter jackets can go. I need to wash them and then I'm going to put them somewhere else. Actually, I think it looks kind of good. I really, I think I like it there. The thing is, it's easy for the girls to use. And yeah, it looks clean. Doesn't bother me that it sticks out a little bit on the side. So I think 
it's going to stay there for now. Okay, so we can put the drawers back in there now. I took this little cabinet out again because I wanted to clean underneath. It always gets super dusty um, down there. Yeah, please let me know down in the comments what you think about um, this uh, craft solution, organizing craft solution. We've been living with it for a while and yeah, until now it's working fine. I like the way it looks. I like that it's easy for the girls to grab what they need and it's also easy for them to put the things back where they belong. And it was super cute because I did this organization when they were at school in kindergarten and when they got home they were so excited and they discovered all of their crafting supplies and they started crafting and yeah, I really enjoyed that and they really enjoyed it as well. And of course, before I can put all of the stuff in it, I need to clean it. There were a lot of hairs and yeah, just dirt in there from the bathroom. And um, I will, just in a minute, I'm going to show you a, a little hack I saw on a video on YouTube. It's quite nice because you can use cheap um, IKEA um, silverware organizers and they fit perfectly into this Alex drawer and like that you can organize the things you want to organize even better and it's really inexpensive. So I found this hack on YouTube where you use these really inexpensive um, utensil divider, I don't know. They are very inexpensive and they, I think they're just I think they cost like um, 2.99 euros, I think. And the cool thing is, they just fit perfectly into this Alex drawer, just like that. And even in the big ones, you can put one in the big one. And that way you can use the top. But, um, and you can store things you're not using maybe that often down below. Yeah, and it's just easy to take that. I think that's a really cool idea. So I bought these and now we are going to organize um, the things in there. So now we need to empty out the drawers in my kitchen and find a nice way to organize all of these things in these Alex drawers. So here I just want to show you, this is a little clip before I organized the um, crafting supplies. I asked my girls if they would like to help to help me to declutter these and get rid of stuff they don't want. And then my seven year old, she decluttered all of the pens and organized them and I decluttered the big two bins and here's all the trash that is leaving. And yeah, it was really fun and my three year old, she was um, crafting <laughs> next to us while we organized all the supplies. Okay, I'm only going to take the two big baskets for now and then we will see how we organize the rest. going to do I'm going to lay out everything onto the floor in different categories and then see how I can organize them um, into uh, the drawers fabric 
different kind of papers, activity books, and random other crafting supplies. So yeah, let's see. Thank you so much for all of you who are watching this video and thank you so much for those who watched my last video. Um, yeah, I was so excited. I, there were so many comments from you guys. I really loved and enjoyed um, reading all of your comments. Reading all of your comments motivates me to create these kind of videos for you guys. So thank you so much. Um, thank you for all your kind comments. You you seem to love the way it looks and that makes me really happy. I really like the way the outdoor space turned out as well. And yeah, in one of my future video, I'm going to take you outside again and I'm going to show you how everything is looking right now. Or um, yeah, spring is here, so the leaves and the flowers are starting to bloom. And yeah, it's getting nicer and nicer and I'm going to show you everything just in yeah, maybe my next video or the one after that. So make sure to subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you are not going to miss that video. I really appreciate that you take your time um, and watch one of my videos. I hope I give you lots of ideas and motivation um, for any projects you need to tackle around your house. And there are many new subscribers um, to my channel. And hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Nasrin and together with my two girls and my husband, we live in Germany and we do have a dog. She's called Daisy. Um, and you will see her probably in most of my videos. And if you like, leave a comment down below so I can say hi to you guys. So now I'm organizing like the little stuff, um, crafting stuff in the two smaller drawers. And I wanted to say this kind of organizing cabinet with these inserts for your utensil, um, for your silverware, you can use that for any kind of organization. So maybe in your house you need this for something else. You can use them this for anything, for tools, for different um, crafting supplies like knitting and sewing. So maybe this is just an idea for you guys if you are if you don't have kids or small kids or if your kids don't like crafting as much as my kids do you could use this for many many other things around the house
So I have these mats and they are for the girls to um, draw on and um, yeah, craft on. And I'm going to store them just next to this cabinet. It's not the prettiest way, I know. And, but it's, I think, the most functional way for them to use all of the crafting supplies independently. So I'm going to try it out. If it's bothering me too much, I need to find a different solution. But, um, yeah. If it makes my life easier, maybe it's worth it. So, and I have this caddy. I think I'm going to store it on top of here as well for now. I think I don't mind seeing it. Um, okay, we are done. I'm going to show you the cabinet and I'm going to show you everything I organized in it. So let's see how it turned out. So on top I'm keeping all the pens and I can just easily grab this caddy and bring it to the table. Um, next to, um, on the side I'm keeping the big um, crafting uh, mats where they can craft and draw on. Then in the first drawer I have like smaller supplies scissors, glue, they're always looking for tape. Now that's their own tape and whenever they need tape they can go in here. Some special pens and rubbers and crafting stuff. Then in the second drawer I keep um, stamps, different special scissors, special pens and um, ink pads. Are they called ink pads? Yeah, I think so. Then in the third drawer are all the cardboard how do you call it crafting paper yeah colorful paper in the next drawer i keep like um fabric so my daughter she really loves creating um stuff with fabric and in the last drawer so i keep activity books and in here are um um stickers and yeah Actually, empty journals and these things. It's more like activity books and learning books. And most of the time, when they are using these, um, I'm with them. So especially with my three-year-old. Um, so everything, the rest is in here. I think it turned out pretty nice. And yeah, let's see how it works. Uh, hopefully. It works a little bit better. And now I'm left with these drawers. So this one is completely empty. And in this one is all the Play-Doh and it's going to stay in here. And in this drawer are all the um, crafting supplies. I don't want my girls, um, especially, it's more because of my three-year-old. I don't want my three-year-old to get into these um, crafting things on her own, like paints. So these two are paint, paint supplies and paints. And then here are, um, how do you call it? Um, these thingies. So I don't want that to get dumped on the floor. And yeah, that already happened a few times. <laughs> um, and then here are also things I don't want my three-year-old to use by herself. Um, let me show you. So in, in here is like window color and markers uh, for special uh, materials like stones and yeah. I just don't want her to get into these um, materials without asking. So um, yeah, these are going to stay in these bins. But um, I try to put everything just in one bit, one drawer, so I have two, f two empty drawers for other stuff. So yeah, like I said, these crafting supplies, they are more for older kids. Of course, my three-year-old, she can make her own bracelets, but I want to, I need to help her with that. And of course she can paint, but I want to be by her side while she's painting or near her. And I don't want her to just grab the paints and start painting. And it's actually pretty, uh, organized and practical because you can take out these bins and put them onto the table use whatever you want and then you can um, put everything back and then we can store them back in the drawers
Okay, so all the the other crafting supplies are in here for now. And um, yeah, this one and this one is empty, but I'm still left with all the Play-Doh. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know right now where I want to store these. Um, I'm just moving on and maybe I'm going to find a place for these. Um, probably they end up in one of these drawers again, but for now I'm keeping them out and I'm moving on because I want to move all of my um, cleaning supplies into this drawers, into one drawer. So let's do that next. So like I said, I keep all of my cleaning supplies in here and I'm taking everything out and then let's see if we can organize all of these things better into the other cabinet. You know, I'm going to grab a basket like that. I don't need to touch it 100 times to move it. So I'm putting everything in here. This is everything. Um, let's bring it over to the kitchen and let's see yeah, how we are going to organize it. Uh, I'm always rethinking everything twice. Um, so I, I really would like to keep all of my cleaning supplies together like that. Whenever somebody is looking for anything, they know where to find it. Yeah, but there are some products. Um, I don't use that often, but we need to keep them. Oh, I don't know. Let's figure it out. Yeah, let's see. let's bring everything into the kitchen and then we'll see. Here are a few things I'm not going to store them in the kitchen rack. Um, or attachment for the vacuum. And here's the thing I was looking at. Let's try to put everything into these drawers. Um, I hope it's going to work out and yeah, let's, let's do it together. So I'm choosing the top drawer because my um, three-year-old can't reach it as well as the bottom drawer, of course. So we are taking the top drawer. I don't know.
I'm done. So um, these two don't fit into this, this drawer. It's not going to close. Ah, actually it does. Okay, this one doesn't fit. Um, but that doesn't matter because I even don't I don't like this um, cleaning stuff. Um, it's not working well, and it um, the smell is really strong. So I'm going to get rid of this one. And yeah, the rest is fitting perfectly into this drawer. I'm really happy about it. So the only thing I'm left with is the play-doh. And for now, I'm just going to put the play-doh in here because this drawer is empty. I don't know if it's going to stay there because maybe I can use this drawer better. Um, yeah, but uh, but um, for now, it's fine. And the last thing I would like to do today is I would like to clean up the um, cabinet and the mess I made in here. So I would like to clean up this area and the things um, actually some of it I'm still going to put into the other cabinet. So these attachments um, I'm going to bring upstairs in my laundry room but my um, uh, here my electric cleaning brush I'm going to put with my cleaning supply and this one is going upstairs and the attachment to the um, to our uh, my god vacuum I'm going to leave downstairs as well and but the rest so these attachments belong to my Bissell steam shot and I really need to use it. I never tried it because there is even one for 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 cleaning windows. Um, yeah, maybe I should try it out. So I've got, but my Bissell steam shot is upstairs. Same with my carpet cleaner, and um, also my um, bucket, my spin mop is upstairs as well in my laundry room. So all of these things are going into the laundry room. And these I'm going to keep next to the vacuum and these I'm going to put into the cleaning drawer. So this is empty for now. Um, actually, no, it's not empty. I need to take all of these things out. These things should go into the guest bathroom whenever I refinished the furniture that should go in there. For now, I'm just going to put these things into a basket as well and keep them. Maybe I keep them in here, but I'm going to take everything out because, because maybe I'm going to take out this entire furniture and I need to measure, but I would like to put it in here for our shoes. I'm not sure if it's going to fit. This can go back upstairs into the laundry room and then I need to clean behind here. I keep um, I keep the, um, how do you call it, wrapping paper behind here um, and it keeps falling. That's probably not the best way to keep wrapping paper. So here I was measuring the um, cube unit there to see if it's going to fit into the other side so we could keep our shoes in there but sadly it wasn't going to fit it's too tall so I'm just taking it out and um, yeah I'm not touching the shoe cabinet today it's looking very messy but actually it's working fine so probably I'm just going to leave it as it is and um, maybe in the future one day I will come up with the perfect solution, but for now, I'm just keeping it the way it is.
So guys, I'm done with my two projects. I organized the craft uh, drawers, or let's say I reorganized it into this Alex unit. And I also um, reorganized my cleaning supplies. So I'm done with these two projects. And I have to say, it was quite difficult for me today. I'm not in the best mood. I don't know, it was hard for me. Um, uh, I, I got the job done and I'm, um, I'm happy with the result, but I don't get the feeling like I'm accomplished something great and I did a lot of things because my house looks a mess. So I started these projects without having a tidy and clean home. So um, I was working around the messes and yeah, I don't have the these um, satisfying before and afters because my house is a mess. So this is a reminder for myself. When I start these kind of projects, I should clean the house first. I should clean like the visible areas around my house. So I have like a free mind and a free, um, so my mind is free and I can start uh, a different project. That's just how I work. That's how my brain works. And yeah, so if you want some cleaning motivation, stay tuned because I'm going to tidy up their entire downstairs and then I think I feel a lot better and um, yeah, finish my day with a tidy home. And I can rest like for an hour maximum and then I need to go and pick up my girls from school in kindergarten. Okay, let's do this. <music> you came from hey. only what you're going through tonight this is what we came for hey. let's find out what we're made of tonight the way you rock the dance floor hey. i can feel your heartbeat
And here is a little pile of everything that needs to go outside. Um, I'm trying some things for the snails. In my last video I told you that we have a lot of snails in our garden. And yeah, I found this at the shop. It's called DM. So if you are from Germany or nearby, um, I bought this at DM. I don't know if it works. And then I read that they don't like to walk on... Um, uh, any any ground that is um, uh, how do you call it um, I can't think of the word but basically any ground that is hurting hurting them so like uh, these are um, hurting the snails if they walk on wood like wood I don't know I'm sorry I hope you understand what I mean <laughs> and also this should keep them away um, I'm going to build like a little fence around it's copper yeah 
and the rest needs to go outside i decided to keep this and i want to use it on our grill before i toss it i'm just going to spray it onto our onto our grill and see if it does something to it i'm sure some of the dirt will come off and then i use something else for the rest okay so all of this needs to go outside i'm going to do that just in a bit and i'm going to bring the garbage outside but other than that um, the house is pretty tidy um, i still need to vacuum the floors and then it's almost time to pick up the girls but it's fine i'm happy that everything is tidy and clean now i can show you outside in the entryway everything is tidy um, the stairs are nearly empty these bins still need to go upstairs but everything is gone i'm still left with this uh, unit this ikea cube the thing is it's pretty much done um, so yeah i think i'm just going to toss it uh, i don't have any use for it um, i'm keeping it just for one two days longer and see if i can come up with any solution if you if i would keep it i need to paint it but yeah it's not easy to paint these ikea furniture i know that there are some ways to do it but i think they're not they're not working 100 percent so probably i'm just going to toss it because i don't need it and then in here uh, i'm just I just placed the toilet paper and towels in here until I finish the guest bathroom. I always have a, a dirty laundry hamper downstairs. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did so don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and please hit that like button that really helps my channel out and I hope to see you in my next video. Tschüss Freunde!